starts being shaded, I put it on the middle of that curve. So with the smudge tool, probably going to use another smudge tool here. Ah, yes. So, uh, try and use a soft smudge tool, but that has a little bit of texture, so you get all these variations in, in bent metal type of thing. See how I'm softening the edges according to how bent the, the form is at that, at that area. So if there's uh, one piece that is very, very sharp, I leave it sharp. And then I can start smudging into a, a bigger curve. Same thing with the highlight. Uh, this is maybe even a better example. So I look at the object and see where there's a sharp pinch and, and where the curve gets big and soft. So I'm adding this chunk of uh, highlighted color. See here it gets sharp down to this corner, which is sharper than the, than the area at the cock, by the, behind the cockpit. See these curves. Same up here, very sharp, and then there you go. And again with the smudge tool, leave the sharper areas and then smudge out the, uh, the places where the metal is more of a, a curve. And you see those little edges that is just uh, strengthening the look of the stress, the metal. You know when there's a huge uh, ship or airplane, there's all these panels and they have a little bit of variation and bumps in them and it adds to the scale because you would add so many small panels and they're all a little bit different right 